opinion, he's perpetrating one of the most enormous frauds on the world and on the United States in particular, and on my home state and on New Orleans. And uh, if it goes much further, uh, there's just no telling where Mr. Garrison will go. What is his motive? Why is he doing it in your opinion? He reminds me of Huey Long. And he reminds me of a combination of Huey Long and uh, some things that I've read about Dr. Goebbels. He's a little bit of both. What is his motive? Well, Walter, that's open to conjecture. Uh, he can go anywhere with this thing. If he, if he convinces the public that he's real, and that this farce is real, this circus that he's putting on down there is real, uh, he's going to try and ultimately drag in the CIA, and he's going to drag in left and right, and as he says, through the looking glass, black is white and white is black. Uh, I think he's the one that's black and white at the same time. Uh, he can go anywhere. He can say, well, your government did this. He can say, uh, there's just no telling what he's going to try and say. At the rate he's going, maybe tomorrow you'll be it. Did he offer you anything to help him? Yes. Uh, Mr. Garrison said that if I needed any financial assistance or did I have any business problems or anything, that I could get him. That I could get anything that I wanted to help him. And uh, I said, no, I don't need any assistance. Do you have any uh, indication of what he wants you to testify to and why he considers you such an important witness? Wow. He could get me, I guess, if he could put enough pressure on me or if he had me in his pocket the way he has an awful lot of people down there, he could get, uh, uh, he could probably get me to say just about anything he wanted me to say. 